Are you an open source enthusiast or a beginner in open source trying to find a project or an issue to work on to make your next open source contribution to? This is your friend the Lean Programmer and in today's video, I am going to tell you the 8 ways in which you can find a project or an issue to work on for your next open source contribution. So let's get started. Do watch this video till the end and do like, share and comment so that it can reach and help more people. So I hope that you guys are ready and super excited to know the 8 ways in which you can find an open source project or an issue to work on to make your next open source contribution. So let's get started. If you want to see this presentation, you can go to this website madhavbehel.tech slash find open source work and you can see the slides here. You can also go to my GitHub profile to uh, find this repository where I have made these slides and do follow me on GitHub. It's github.com slash madhavbehelmd. I would uh, really like it if you follow me. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. So the first one is issuehub.io. This website is my favorite. It can help you find the next issue or project based on your favorite language and based on the labels on the issue. So let's take a look at it, issuehub.io. So basically uh, in this, you can choose your labels, maybe up for grabs or first timers only or Hacktoberfest or easy pick or something like that. Let's, let's go for an easy pick and let's search for JavaScript and find. So you will find lots of projects here and lots of uh, uh, issues to work on. You can just go to any particular issue and just start working. All right, so let's have a look at the second one, Code Triage. It's, it's also a useful tool for searching issues and projects. A lot of people use this website. Uh, you can just either sign up with good GitHub and you can add your own projects as well. And you can see the existing projects as well, which needs which have issues open and which needs help. So Go, Runtime, Kibana and TensorFlow and all these projects. You can just have a look at all these projects and get started. Third one is up for grabs. This is, uh, this is a list of projects which I with issues um, which can be resolved by beginners. So if you are a beginner, this website is going to be a really good one for you. Up for grabs. And I'm going to add the links to all these websites in the comment section as well in the description as well so you can just find you can filter the project by the name or the label let's say beginner friendly or by tag popular tabs uh, tags are javascript.net and c sharp and all these things let's let's go with javascript and uh, you can find all your projects so fourth one is contrib so it's a good list of issues and repositories which you can find so here's the website. So by default, it goes to JavaScript and we can find all the projects in JavaScript, all the super cool projects. And you can also change the language. Let's say Go, Golang. And, and there are so many projects which you can find your next issue to work on. Fifth one is first timers only. So if you are a complete beginner in open source, here's the list of issues that are labeled with first timers only. Basically first timers only is a label which is used to describe that this issue is only for beginners who are making their first open source contribution. So yes, you can just go to this particular website and you can find all the uh, issues, um, all the resources and issues as well. Sixth one is awesome first timer. So this is again a list of awesome beginner friendly projects. Uh, you can, this is basically a GitHub repository. You can go to GitHub and find this. They have a lot of uh, projects here. So let's go to JavaScript and they have a list of projects in JavaScript which have open issues. All right, so seventh one is pull request roulette. So list of PRs that needs to be reviewed. So this is not actually a list of issues. This is actually a list of PRs that are submitted for uh, being reviewed. So if you want to review something, it's if you are not uh, actually looking for an issue to contribute to and if you are looking for actually an uh, PR which you can review, this is the website you might be looking for. This has a list of all good pull requests. And the eighth one, this is actually one of the best ways to find it. No, no website, no particular feature can help you as much as this thing can. This is the native GitHub search. Uh, a lot of people are actually don't know about the full features, full functionalities that GitHub provides in their search. So let's have a look at it. 
so just go to github.com slash search and you can find you can go to advanced search to pick up all these you can make all these options from these owners in these repositories in, and with this many stars with this many folks and so on so this is some uh, this is the way you can advance search on github but if you are not looking for if this is looking over complicated to you you can just you you can use normal github search and use some of your some of these prefixes so let's go to our github.com and uh, let's try to search uh, basically let's let's have a look at repository search so let's search with the keyword let's say let's say any keyword uh, for example JavaScript how about JavaScript JavaScript and then you need to add this particular um, condition that stars greater than 100 so basically this will find projects for you which have more than 100 stars and the language is javascript or javascript keyword is used or let's say there are much more many more functionalities like um, like you can have a code search you can have an issue search this one might be the best for you searching the issue so for example issue which has the label let's say bug so let's say javascript and label as bug so this can find all these issues so i hope you like this video that's all do do keep contributing to open source and keep the spirit of open source alive if you don't already know this is the month of october and hacktoberfest is going on in hacktoberfest you have to make four open source uh, contribution you basically have to raise four prs and if they get accepted or not even accepted if they pass the review period uh, you will be eligible to get a free open so free hacktoberfest t-shirt and that is super cool so if you like this video do like share and comment so that it can reach and help more people bye bye see you next time